In this lecture, we will talk about harmonics and we will also find whether they are produced in LTI systems or not. So let's start our discussion with the meaning of harmonics. Harmonics are signals having the frequency as integral multiple of the fundamental frequency. So whenever there is a signal in which the frequency is the integral multiple of the fundamental frequency, then that particular signal is known as harmonic. For example, if f is the fundamental frequency, then nf is the frequency of the signal known as harmonics and this n can be equal to 2, 3, 4, and so on. So this is the simple meaning of harmonics and now we will move to our case number one. In the first case we will consider the non-linear system and in this non-linear system the output is equal to the square of the input. Let's say the input is xt and the output is yt. So yt will be equal to square of xt. yt is equal to xt square. This is example of a non-linear system. You can definitely take some other non-linear system to explain whether the harmonics are produced in non-linear systems or not. I have taken this functionality. The functionality of this non-linear system is very clear. The output is equal to the square of the input. Now let's say xt is equal to sine omega naught t. So here omega naught is the fundamental frequency and xt is equal to sine omega naught t. So according to the functionality of the non-linear system we are having, the output yt will be equal to sine omega naught t whole square or we can write sine square omega naught t or we can write 1 minus cos 2 omega naught t divided by 2 which is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 cos 2 omega naught t. Now we will compare the frequencies. Here frequency is equal to omega naught which is the fundamental frequency. But in this case if you see this signal you will find the frequency is equal to 2 omega naught. So with respect to omega naught we are having the integral multiple in this case so we can say that we are having the harmonic whenever we have the non-linear system so harmonics are produced in case of non-linear systems now we will move to the case number two in case number two we will take the time variant system this particular time variant system is producing the output yt after performing the time scaling of the input xt. So yt is equal to x2t. Again we are taking one example of the time variant system. You can definitely take some other example but to explain whether the harmonics are produced in time variant systems or not I have taken this example. You can see the functionality the output yt is equal to x2t. So here time scaling is performed. Now let's say xt is equal to sine omega naught t, the same input we had in the case number 1. So xt is equal to sine omega naught t and now we will calculate the output yt. It will be equal to sine twice of omega naught t because here we have time scaling 2 is multiplied to t. So you can compare the two signals. Initially we had sine omega naught t. So this is the fundamental frequency omega naught and in this signal twice of omega naught is the frequency. So therefore we have the harmonics are monics in the time variant system. So we have the important conclusion in case of non-linear systems and time variant systems harmonics are produced. Now we will move to our case number 3. In case number 3 
we will take linear time invariant system in case number 3 we will take LTI system our main focus is on LTI system let's say the input is xt and the output is yt and the functionality of the LTI system is such that output yt is equal to xt minus 1 plus xt plus 1 again this is one example of LTI system you can definitely take some other LTI system and now we will repeat the same process we will take the same input signal sine omega naught t and for this input the output is equal to sine omega naught t minus 1 plus sine omega naught t plus 1 and if you compare the frequencies you will find the input is having the frequency as omega naught which is the fundamental frequency and in the two terms of the output you will find the frequency is same omega naught and omega naught so there are no harmonics produced in case of linear time invariant systems no harmonics so this is one important point and finally I will conclude whatever we have discussed in this lecture for the production of harmonics the nature of the system should be either non-linear or time variant vice versa is not always true this means whenever you have non-linear system the harmonics will produce whenever you have time variant systems harmonics will produce but we cannot say that harmonics are produced only when we have non-linear or time variant systems and in case of linear time invariant systems no harmonics are produced so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one